I told you I'd be a bee. Crouch. All oh, right. If we crouch and do this, there we go. That was the thing I was forgetting. We forgot to crouch. What pose should we have him in? Like that. Look out there to the aquatic land. There we could go. Look over there. It's your red. Praise the sun. I think that one. Fish is okay. Have a good day, my friend. Alright, fish. I'll catch you next time. Thanks as always. Uh, and thank you for the uh, donation earlier. got in my metal box. We do have a full set of chain link we got out of that chest, don't we? I guess we can use that for now. Why not? It was treasure we found. Just remembered how dumb this looks. Chainmail armor on an armor stand always looks a bit dumb. I forgot about that. Just looks like a mess. Just a mess of texture. No spank you very much. A little bit of. We don't have a complete set of anything. In. Let's go see what's in the zombie box. We might have a complete set of like enchanted leather or something down there. Why are you missing half your armor? I'm not missing half my armor. I've got it all on. I mean, it's about to break, but... What are you, what are you talking about? Um, ba -ba -da -ba -do. do we have any gold pants upstairs? So we got the hat, the shirt. really. The chain link camera. I'm not missing half the chain link camera. I've got the complete set. What are you talking about? Have Twitch changed the rules to become a partner? Um, yes, they have. The whole affiliate thing that they bought in nine months ago, something like that. All right, let's sleep in the bed again because I did move it. So we do need to make sure we do that. Just got over 300 followers, and it says in order to get partnered, you need to have 75 viewers consistently. However, notice other partners should only get 75 regularly. Yeah, so here's the thing with that. It, it's the whole affiliate pro, affiliate program thing. They give you a sort of list of achievements to hit, basically. Have this many people in chat talking, have to do this, do this, you know, stream for this many hours within a, within a week or a month and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I mean, there are people who've got partnered after doing that affiliate stuff who don't 
you know, always get 75 in there. So, I mean, what have I got? I got 48 right now. I mean, I was partnered before the affiliate thing came through. And I kind of got fast tracked for the partner because of my YouTube stuff. They're like, okay, you've, you've already proven yourself on YouTube. We can just sort of sort you out with the partnership here. No problems. Just have to speak to the right people. But, I mean, sometimes they get 80 people. Sometimes they get 18. Depending on what game I'm streaming, when I'm streaming it, shit like that. But yeah, they did change the rules. And some people like me were fortunate enough to uh, get partnered before they brought those rules in. Um, there you are. Look at here in this skidding. But yeah, these days it's all it's all kind of formalized and there's that sort of uh, yeah achievement progress kind of thing that people can sort of target themselves towards to make themselves uh, you know a good streamer and stuff like that. It's a much fairer system than it used to be. Like for example, you know, like I said, when I was partnered, it wasn't really fair for me to get partnered on Twitch, really. I had bug, you know, it was years ago. I had bugger all viewers and a bit janky streaming, low res kind of stuff. There we go. That's that's my little that's my little cup of water when I'm sleeping. My little my little green cup. <laughs> uh, right. What's next? But yeah, um, there, there, never, there never used to be any hard and fast rules about partnerships. It was like, if someone was doing really, really well, sometimes Twitch would notice they were doing really, really well, and then we'd go, hey, how would you like to be a partner? And it was all just sort of, there was no hard and fast rule, it was all behind closed doors, there was no, no way to know what the requirement was. It was just like, well, if you get lucky enough to get noticed, you get, you get noticed. Notice me, senpai. Um, or you could do what I did, and you can, if you knew the right people, um, and you, you know, you spoke to a representative from Twitch, and you go, hey, uh, or you could email them and do this, do it that way as well. But uh, you go, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I've got, you know, so many, so many, so many subscribers, videos, whatnot. I'd like to be a partner. I've already proven myself as a content creator. Can we, can we sort something else out? Uh, can, can you can you sort of give me a partnership on Twitch so I can get up and running? And that happened a lot, and that's what happened to me. I met uh, met some Twitch PR guys at um, the first RTX Expo thingy, and got myself the hookup on that. And that was only sort of six months after I started streaming and whatnot. But. Uh, yeah, I, I think the system they're using now is much, much fairer. There is a, uh, a set of rules. There is a set of requirements. They're very, very clearly marked out. Twitch tracks them for you really clearly. They give you a clear line of uh, what you need to try and achieve. And uh, it you know tracks your progress on that really nicely. It gives you little charts and... What do you need to do next? All oh, crap like that. I think it's a super good system. And uh, super fair and super clear and yeah. I like the way they're doing the uh, affiliate stuff. Some partners are a little bit shitty about the affiliate thing because even as an affiliate, you're getting some privileges that used to be pretty exclusive to partners. And some partners are like, Oh, I had to work to get that. Why do they get it for nothing? It's not fair. I had to work really hard to earn my earn my partnership and get that privilege to do to do this thing. And I was like, shut the fuck up, you tool. Mine. Seventy-five years of I'm stuck on. Um. Oh, well, maybe I can try and help you out with that sometime. Do you have a regular schedule? Send me a regular schedule. Well, let's see if I can find a time 
where sort of I'm going to end a stream, or I usually end a stream, and we'll throw you a host and hopefully some people stick around, something like that, you know. So why wouldn't I do that for you? You've been a pretty loyal viewer around these parts. That's something I, should, I need to get better about too, personally speaking. I need to get better about uh, throwing hosts out when I'm done streaming. Share the love, give you guys something else to watch when I'm done, that kind of crap. Because when you host other people, sometimes other people will host you back. You develop relationships like that. Both your channels grow, everybody wins. And I'm really crappy about doing that hosting thing. I need to get way better at it. I need to be a better Twitch citizen. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fill this out. That's pretty good. In fact, I really should organize that auto host thing as well. I really, I really need to set up some auto hosts. I've got a few people in mind who are consistently super good quality streams that I could probably auto host without uh, any concerns at all. At the very least, I should be auto hosting my friend Ali. <laughs> Absolute minimum I should be auto hosting her. I mean, I wish I had more views, I don't really expect it, considering I don't really play fad games. Well, I don't know that. I don't play fad games either. I mean, I guess Minecraft was at one point, but certainly not anymore. I just play what I enjoy playing. I mean, I'll stream games knowing full well that nobody gives a fuck. Like Dauntless. When I stream Dauntless, it's like 18, 18 people turn up, maybe. Usually about 12. I still stream it because sometimes it's fun. I don't stream it that often anymore because of that, but I will still stream it sometimes when I've got nothing else to do. Twitch is a Twitch, Twitch, Twitch citizen. No, I don't, no, I don't think that works. Twitch is in. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, small shot, you've ever been around mine? I don't think I have ever dropped in on you, Bam. I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never popped in on one of your streams. At least I don't think I have. If I did, you didn't leave a very good strong memory. <laughs> what a shitty thing to say, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, had the time stream on a regular schedule. Okay, it's just, yeah, it's tough. It can be tough. All right, I'm relatively happy with the way the hillside looks at this point. Still so don't know what I want to do about this. Do I want to put braces down there or something, or leave the overhang? Fill that back in with sand instead of dirt, maybe. I don't know. I'll leave it for now. I think what we might do now is work on those stairs a bit. See if we can get some paths happening. So, let's put the dirt away. Let's get some... I'll grab some slabs. Um, maybe... Let me think, let me think, let me think. Let's make some birch stairs. I did it again, damn it. Um, and then we'll grab some... White concrete? 
What if we do blue concrete borders? How much quartz do I have for stairs? Not much. Let's see what we can do. Man, stop that. Twenty-eight should do for now. Actually, I really should move that. Uh, try and move that command block. Because doing this all over again is starting to grate on me already. I think I, I think I popped in on one of your streams once or twice, Pixel Sean. I don't think I ever said anything. I was just sort of poking around. I honestly don't remember. I dropped in a Palmyra the other day. Ali. Do you know how to use a separate audio source, i.e. Spotify, for your stream other than using a desktop audio, just in case you get a notification or something or having to disable audio? I, I just use VLC playing to my desktop for my audio. So if I need to turn the audio off, I just pause VLC. Presumably you could do that with Spotify? I'm, I don't use Spotify, so I don't know what the deal is. Is that through a web player, or do you have a separate app? Maybe you could set up a hotkey to mute that particular uh, audio source. You could... If it's a web source, maybe you could use a browser source in OBS to bring that music in. Like set up the browser source in a separate scene, bring the scene in as a source in your other scenes. That way you could use OBS to sort of kill that, you could, you could toggle that browser source on and off using a hotkey and or stream deck. Yeah, there's a few ways I can imagine doing it. That makes sense to you? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna gonna move that command block. Uh, oh, is it an app? Yeah, maybe you can, I don't know whether you can hotkey the app. Try out... Vo oh yeah, yeah, Voice Meta Banana is uh, one of those sort of software based audio deck kind of things you can sort of pipe through different things isn't it there's a few of those i don't remember what they're called I've never had to use one there's a few audio program oh free programs you can sort out that are kind of like software based mixing discs to pipe different parts of system audio around to different places we tried the audio ducking feature no i don't i haven't tried audio ducking i don't think you really need to use it for this kind of stuff Unless you're the type of streamer who stays silent for large amounts of time and you want to bring up the game audio when you're not talking. But I tend to rabbit reasonably consistently. So I don't really need the ducking thing, I don't think. Alright, so where are we? Uh, oh, here it is. Right? Yeah. There we go. <gasps> oh no! I'm creative! In my survival world! Um, I'll just do that. So it's just time set 95,000 is the only command I've got. Time set 95,000, impulse, unconditional. We'll leave that there so you can use it as a reference. Oh, wait a second. I can fly. No, I'm not going to fly. Time set 95,000, right? here or here? Put it here in front of my thing. Looks like a little rug. Looks like a cool little rug in front of my bookshelf. I like that. So time set... What did I say? 95,000. Impulse, unconditional, always active. I think that's all I need to do, right? Alright, 
let's stash that in that, just in case we ever need another one for whatever reason. Alright, settings. I feel dirty being in, in creative in my survival world. Dirty. There we go. Um, I guess we should... Actually, you know what? What if we... What if I put a pressure plate on that instead? That way, instead of hitting a button, I can just go, sleepy time. And just stand on it. That should work, right? Although, I do like it looking like a little rug. So maybe it's... Although, if we put a switch in the middle of it, it's not going to look as cool anymore anyway. Maybe put the pressure plate in front of it. I'm not going to do that. Um, let's turn on this all in pressure plates, actually. And we'll grab a switch, just in case I don't like it. Or a tripwire. Nah, tripwire's a bit messy, because you need the like, three block space for the whole thing and everything. So I'd have to put a tripwire in the bookcase, and tripwire back here, and then click, click, and ugh. So if I put a pressure plate there, it should work, right? No? Don't think that worked. Isn't that working? Did I not do the command right? Time set 9500, impulse unconditional always active. Set 95,000 impulse unconditional needs redstone. Oh, I see what I did. You need to have the need redstone to activate it with the button and stuff. Herpa derpa derpa derp. I set it to always active, which it's, uh, is a dumb thing to try and do. You can tell I've never used command box before. Well, except for copy pasting stuff from other people. This one I came up with myself. It's my own special command. Took hours to figure out. Uh, oh, damn it. I can't access it in survival. Needs redstone. There we go. Hey, that's more like it. I'm just going to leave it with the pressure plate. It did look a bit weird with the button in the middle. Actually, if we... I was kind of hoping I was going to jump out of bed onto it. That would have been perfect. So that way I could fake sleeping. I could go, oh, sleepy time. And when I get out of bed, I would land on it. But apparently I just land on the bed instead. Oh, well. <laughs> cool. Sorted. Helping us sis put her in. really good. Alright, Pixel Swan, thanks for dropping in. I'll try and drop back one of your streams. Surprised you didn't just go with time set day. Um, if you do that, the sun. No, you can absolutely do that, but set day starts the sun at about there. Like you're already. Well, the sun's gone now. You're already, you know, a chunk into the day. So I chose that time specifically for dawn so I could see the sunrise but yeah I did I did originally try time set day because that's the command I knew obviously um, 
But yeah, I wanted to uh, time set day. It, it starts fairly late in the day, really. And I didn't want that. I wanted to see the dawn. How do you get command blocks? You have to use a command to get yourself command blocks. So you have to go into into the uh, chat commands. Oh yeah, there we go. Old docs got command for you. Slash give at s, which is you basically. Or at, at p. Is it at p or at, at s? I think it's both. Depends on what you're doing with this server. Versus single player versus whatever. Anyway. You give at the player. Command underscore block. But you have to be in creative mode to actually get it. It's not in uh, it's not in any inventory or anything like that. Not even creative. You have to use a command to get it in. One of the times is I set at 2200 your time. And at 6 a.m. we does. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up in the mornings fairly early quite often. So that's not out, out of... It's not out of the uh, out of the reasonable to expect to drop in at the end of those streams or even the start of those streams. Get a bit late, wake up late. Like I've recently started watching a uh, Fallout 4 streamer. Her name is um, Nuka Helzi. N u k a h e l z i, I think. Um, and she's a uh, British girl. And I started watching it because I was looking around for Fallout 4 streams to sort of get my get my head ticking over in Fallout mode, ready for 76 and whatnot. You know, remind myself of some essential Fallout stuff. Um, and it turns out she's really quite an entertaining streamer. Great personality, bubbly, happy, never stops talking. Ever. But uh, she and I send, tend to... We seem to share a similar sense of humor and everything. And So it's, it's been nice sort of interacting in her streams. And I'm up early enough in the morning to catch it. She's quite lovely. And never ever ever wears low cup tops to the stream either. Which is refreshing for a girl streamer. You know what I'm talking about. She's there to play the games. Not to show off her things. Um, and she's a proper gamer as well. She's been She's been playing all kinds of sort of pretty deep and hardcore RPG stuff since she was uh, since she was uh, barely a teenager. She was talking about that this morning, the uh, games and stuff she used to she used to play when she was a kid. RuneScape and all that crap, so she's legit, which is always nice. Um, sick of, yeah, subs get Snapchat. That's, that's the warning sign, isn't it? For the quote-unquote titty streamer. Uh, their, their, their title always says, subs get snapchat. Ugh, fucking creepy. <laughs> right, what are we going to do next? Oh, right, uh, paths and ladders, and, uh, not ladders, uh, staircases. That's what the plan was. It's Twitch, not tits. <laughs> Alright, so let's we're doing too wide here, so what if we go pop 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 like that. We blur it up with these. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why am I so bad with these? Bottom edge of the block. Bottom edge of the block. Take it slow. Bottom edge of the block. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I seem to remember the quartz matching less well with the uh, concrete. But that matches just fine. Oh, there it is. There's, there's the thing I was talking about. The difference in the white. But from this side, it doesn't look so bad. So, what if to isolate that? Yeah, um, what if we did. What if we did, what if we did, what if we did, what if we did. 
some of this. We'll knock these. And we'll give us some of that. Let's come all the way back. So that kind of looks even weirder. Okay, donkey. How about this then? Getting more and more expensive on the quartz as we go, but. Yeah. There we go. That looks less bizarre. Now it looks like uh, it's different colored because you tread on it all the time. That's what it is. The grot grinds up on this. Instead of having that transect it, we'll just extend it straight into the door like that. Good. Now, if we grab some of this stuff, we'll give ourselves a little skiddly boo there. So, maybe even does that work? Maybe white. Actually, no. Maybe we mirror what we're already doing here. No, that's not going to work very well. I'm just going to have to go... Do, 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 do. I need more white concrete. Still don't, still don't. Here we go. This is it. This is what we need right there. There we go. We need better lighting options, but for now, more. You know what? We have pumpkins. You can always bury some pumpkins. No, too much. I know. I know, I know, I know. There we go. That's how it gets done. Cool. What do you reckon, chat? I think that flows with the design pretty well. Might be able to do paths in a similar way, although that much quartz. Although, I guess we don't need the stairs for the paths. We can just use white concrete for the flat parts of the paths. We just need the quartz for the stairs. a will be streaming being all quoted than <laughs> the knees <laughs> I don't think she's ever showed Ben either she just shows off her knees because she has those cool 
pajama pants she wears with the cartoon prints and crap on them. <laughs> Looks like a beach house, very beachy. That was kind of the idea, because, you know, we're, we're building next to the seaside and, you know, it's an aquatic based world and we're going to build underwater and stuff. So I wanted something to feel light and beachy and kind of aquatic, but not gloomy aquatic like the uh, prismarine crap something clean and crisp and like sea foam i think is uh is one of the ideas i had this the kind of sea foam that blue and white kind of uh thing know what i mean and i think i've kind of nailed it if i'm gonna be honest with you guys Not sure how we might want to grab some extra dirt or something to try and because this looks a bit weird right here. Might sort of patch that. Oh, I was carrying some dirt. Derp derp. grows out on that, that's going to look fine. We'll do a similar thing over here. Looks pretty decent. Cool. Yeah. Path between these two, or shall we just leave the grass? And then we are going to stare up here. Hmm. We're dealing with an odd number, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are, so. That's our one, two, three, four, five. That's our center right there. So we drill straight up the center. And what if we do kind of a single wide version of what we did in the other place for this? Just, just, just open a vein. It's all over. If I do that just 18 more times, I'm going to kill myself. Minecraft, Minecraft is fun. Out of stairs. You're not wrong, Portal. Minecraft is fun. I wish I hadn't spent so many years not playing it before I finally started to pick it up. I feel like I wasted so many months. Did you see what I did there? I nearly turned around to look for the crafting table that used to be there. I nearly went, I went, eh. <laughs> You should get it for the Switch. Minecraft is fun, and Minecraft is especially fun on the Switch because 
Obviously the nature of the switch means you can take it with you, you can curl up anywhere, anytime, get a bit of Minecraft and done. Or you can play it on a big screen. There are so many games that are just such good homes. Uh, such good homes for, uh, or the Switch is such a good home for, I think is, is what I'm trying is the sentence I'm trying to construct there. The Switch is a good home for many types of games and Minecraft is absolutely one of the really nice games to have that kind of flexibility with. Especially now with the aquatic, uh, with the, uh, sorry, with the bedrock version making it so of the Switch. You can do shit like I'm doing now. Like load the game on the Switch, but play it, you know, log into it on your PC. So you can use mouse and keyboard. But I can still pick up my Switch and the save file sits, uh, lives on the Switch and... And, uh... Everything's good. Everything's good. Words, words are hard sometimes. English is a very difficult language. <laughs> it's one of my favorite gags from uh, Cleveland show. And Rollo, the, uh, the five-year-old, gets told, uh, you know, his mum gets told that, you know, at that age, it's a very good age to learn a language. And he's like, I am learning a language. It's English, and it's very difficult. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's bring it right down. Let's bring it all the way down. that a bit but that's fine <coughs> excuse me <laughs> if you require especially dining ones please smash the keypad with your fingers now the fingers you have to use to dial are too fat another classic gag Fences. Can you play service like Mineplex on the Switch version on the Switch Windows 10 edition? Uh, the the servers like Mineplex and Lifeboat and stuff aren't on the Switch version of Bedrock yet. They are coming soon. They're just not here at the moment because it literally just launched like like 10 days ago and that's one of the things they didn't bring with it yet but it is absolutely coming ah, did it again. Uh, so the answer is yes but you have to wait a second it's coming Did this 
I did that right. I was a bit worried for a second there. I did the whole thing off center. Uh, we're dead center down this path. Which is what I wanted. The whole place, thank you. Bedwars is super fun. We pass three play servers. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't tend to play on that on the on those public on those services stuff. But if that's what you're into, then yeah, it will absolutely be on the uh, on here before too much longer. Can't tell you exactly when because they've been clear about that. But yeah. is really killing me. Well, here's a thought. We don't need to actually do that. We can pull it all the way back with this. Is that going to look weird? Nope, that looks fine. Speaking of fat, during my time streaming, I put on weights. Need to work on that. Yeah, if you spend sort of many, many hours a day just sitting in front of a computer, you need to uh, <laughs> compensate for physical activity. Uh, I've seen a few streamers who do the whole standing desk thing to try and keep them on their feet and stuff like that. But fact is, the whole standing desk thing is a bit of a BS thing. There's been several scientific reports saying, actually, you know, standing desks don't do you any good at all. I even saw one that said they were actually worse for you than sitting. Now. Do we need to blue line those parts, I wonder? kind of don't want to, because that's a lot of extra concrete already. So I really don't want super wide paths. I guess one way to give them a little bit extra is if we did one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 three, four, five, six. doing that. I'm not sure I love that. Weren't they five wires and there's no switch field? Most of them are, yeah. But I think we're just going to have to uh, suck it up. I think this is not going to look quite right until we do get an external line, either white or blue. But yeah, the paths on the switch world were all wood, so getting the materials to do it was never a big deal.
But I guess if you're going to do something, you might as well do it right. Just move the posts up, put the concrete out. Ah, so here's the thing. We're going to replicate this design, not just on land, but across water. So we can't just put sort of the signposts on the sand there, because once we get out of water, we can't actually put signposts on the water itself. So we'd have to keep the design consistent. as well see how that looks yeah blue definitely the white stripes thing just looks a bit weird definitely go blue Me. We should go back to that swamp for another series of slime, or well, not series, but for some slime hunting. So we're going to need slime to make sticky pistons in order to make the automatic dye farm that we're going to need to keep ourselves knee deep in light blue dye. I think once we get the ocean monument sorted, what we might do is pluck out every six or eight of these white tiles and slap in a sea lantern. Just to help light them up and stuff like that. I don't think we need to do... I mean, we could try... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How's the 10 spacing look? That's a bit better. The 6 spacing was a little bit busy. I think 10 is about right. I mean, 10 really doesn't solve our mob spawning problem once we get over the ocean and stuff like that, but once again, once we get some sea lanterns, these will just be more decorative than anything else. Yeah, not bad. Once we sort of riddle this place with a few more plants like this between everything, it's going to look pretty impressive, I think. Join this to the house to do this. Or 
do we need the birch? Because that's the other problem we have. We want to, if we want to join to a single door, do we want to do a massive wide thing up to it, or? I don't think my language is making any sense there, but you know what I mean. If you do a super wide... Just uh, bring the path up to it from this side. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll just do this one thing at a time and we'll see what comes up. San Diego. Hello. How's San Diego today? Aside from 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I haven't been to San Diego in ages. What am I doing? This is not what this is. Not what this is. I need more slabs. San Diego is doing well. Always sunny in 77. Shamu says hi. <laughs> oh, wait. I did have a few more there. Boink. Star Sapphire Queen. Hello there. How are you doing today? See the absent man of blunt in his natural habitat. Exactly. I, I started. I started to think about the last time I was in San Francisco, and I got all misty-eyed. I like that city. It's a nice place. the border. I don't think we need the blue so much. The blue helps the birch stand out against the sand. But do we need it here? I'm not entirely convinced we do, but let's see. Hey, pat Let's on the back! See. Pat on the back for this guy! Can we get some uh, love in the chat, please? Two months. I thought I was longer. Giggity. Um, actually, so I don't know. Did you did you let your subscription lapse? And sometimes I, I don't know what the grace period is, but I think if you miss two months, it kind of resets the counter or something. Either way, thank you very much. Appreciate that. They have ever been. I've never been to Tennessee, no. But uh, that that sort of side of America is something I do want to uh, explore someday. I don't know about uh, Mississippi or Tennessee, but certainly New Orleans. We 
which I don't know how far away Tennessee is from that, but oh, wait, 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 I'm doing this wrong again. But, you know, when I think southern. Sun has a game one is on sale, Amazon, and others, 149 USC. Ooh, very nice. Florida. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where, what would ever take me to Florida. I mean, I've already been to Disney World. I don't need to go to Disneyland, I don't think. Yeah, this looks a bit weird. We need to transition this somehow. Do we come up to there? Or do we go all the way up? about this transition. Hey there, Governor. How you doing? I think I prefer the path bleeding into the house like that. Concrete, my concrete leech needs to put a sea lantern. Yeah, that could help us. But we don't have any sea lanterns just yet. What if we made the birch stronger? looks a bit weird. Hey, pat on the back! Pat on the back for this guy! Thank you very much, Paul. Many numbers. 21 months hype. 21 month hype. No, I said hype. Say it with me, sticks of speech. Thank you very much, Paul. 20 months in a row. I do really appreciate that. Can we splash some love in the chat room to celebrate 21 months of incredibly kind support? What about doing a color gradient blue fading into white? I can't really do that in Minecraft. <laughs> I can have a birch plank at that corner. Hmm, there's a thought. Well, that help, that does help it, yeah. Well, we can't really put a torch on top of that anymore, either. And if we did a double, that's way too much. I 
Well, that certainly marks masks the transition. Hmm. Birch trapdoor on top. Nah. Ooh. Ooh. I guess the birch trapdoors do have that sort of white and thing going on. Yeah. Let's go grab some. Let's see how that looks. A little height and a little light. You could probably even bury a pumpkin underneath it too. I think a pumpkin will give off a little more light than a torch, won't it? Jack-o-lantern, I should say. And yeah, once we check, once we get some sealants, swap these out for the sealants. These are going to glow in a similar way as well. Yeah, that little, that little puff of smoke from the torch is the reason I'm thinking jack-o'-lantern, by the way. Yeah, that works though. Thank you for that. Who was that? That was Pookie? That was Pookie. Of course it was Pookie. <laughs> And also, when we do this sort of pattern over the water, a, uh, a pumpkin, or a sea latin actually, when we do, we'll do a sea latin when we do it over water, because you'll see the edges of it. But we can use pumpkins or whatever when we're on ground, because you don't see the uh, sides of them. Cool. Let's go make our first jack-o'-lanterns. Now, I don't even know how you do this. I know you have to use shears, but do you have to use shears? Like, do you have to put them down on your shears, or can you use shears uh, like in the crafting table with them, or how do you mass create these things? Oh, hi, guy. Either way, we don't have any shears yet. Okay, we need to uh, we need to dig up. I'm all choked up on stuff. Love. Oh, here we go. Uh, huh. Carved pumpkin. How do we make a carved pumpkin? It doesn't tell me how to make a carved pumpkin. Um, my instincts would be. Well, shit. Yeah, you have to put the pumpkin on the ground to shear it. God damn it. That's a pain in the ass. So if you need a shitload of these, you got to do them all manually. That sucks. That's just bollocks is what that is. Yep, there it is. Let me 
miss any? Doesn't look like I missed any. Similarly to do no, yeah, debarking woodworks the same way, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So not only do you use up durability of your shears, you use up durability of your harvest setting saw to pick them up again. I guess if you shear them before you harvest them the first time. Ugh. I don't like this. I like that wild pumpkins don't have faces on them anymore, but I don't like the alternative method of how you get jack-o'-lanterns. We're actually getting. Do you get pumpkin seeds when you shear them? Or just harvest them? Because you used to have to throw a, a pumpkin into a crafting bench to break it down into seeds. Is that different now? Yeah. Do you get the seeds when you carve it, maybe? You get, oh, you get four seeds when you carve. Okay. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. Then I change. Actually, there's something worth checking out. Did they change the fact that you can't put these? Yeah, no, you still can't. You still can't put them on a surface. You have to put them on the ground. Yeah. They have to have something underneath them. There we go. Done. And you can still get four seeds in crafting. Not from the not from the carved ones you can't because you already get the seeds. So I guess you have to put the regular pumpkin in the carving in the uh, crafting bench to get them. All right, where's my block light? There we go. Block lighting box, and I guess we will put the unlit carved pumpkins in there as well. Should have kept some of those pumpkins. We're gonna need a couple more of them in a minute, anyway. All right, so so what do we do? Those are at the yeah. Those are at the white border transition. Okay. those, we put them sort of handle thingy facing out, which, yeah, I guess that works. Cool. Okay, 
like so. Oops, it is ink. Check on this with. <laughs> they do look like they're wearing little hats. If Nerdy is lurking. If she is, a comment about the little hats would have brought her out. The little hats. Uh, whoops, it easy. You are not concrete. You are quartz. You are concrete though. Did I pick up those two quartz I missed over here? Yes, no, maybe. I feel like the pickup range of objects is shorter than it used to be. How oh, that I'll get trapped under these slabs a little bit easier or something. Uh, wait a second, what have I done? I put those pumpkins too close together, it's what I've done. Which goes all the way through. I did it ass backwards. Concrete. There, that's consistent, right? Good. Feeling good about the way that came out. Let's go D gub. We'll take the rapid transit system across to the slime. Oh, uh, sorry, the um, swamp, and we'll see if we can get some slimes. Because we're not going to get very much more building done until we get a much bigger supply of blue dye. Certainly, don't think we have enough. To make a start on the enchantment room. Oh no, no we, we, we might do actually. I would still like to get some slime though. Need those sticky pistons. Also gonna have to do some serious work in the nether as well. We need a lot more quartz. the regrets about choosing that material. This past remind me of Pokemon. Really? I'm not sure in what regard, but I'll take your word for it. redo these little bridges. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do these bridges at sea level. I might do some sort of 
arched bridge design. Put that there to remind me, so I didn't have any signs. We should bring back some signs. Get those hubs before the tunnel thing so you can use. Hubs before the tunnel things that you can. I have no idea what you're talking about. In which game? Hubs before the tunnel things. Oh shit! I forgot that was on the top of the tree. Alright. It is night time. We have a full moon. No. Three quarter moon. So slime hunting should be pretty decent. If we can get some spawns. soaking up my mob cap. I mean seriously, do oh there we go, there's one over there. I was about to say, does slimes not even spawn anymore? Finally found one. Only a medium sized one, but it's a good start. Had a looting sword. Ugh, so many mobs. You have failed the swamp. Caves, but there's tunnels that go between a couple of cities. They're in Sapphire Ruby, I think. If you need to get a drink, go. Oh, the underground path. Right? Is that what you're thinking of? You have to give the guard a drink to get. Yeah. I think I know the one you're talking about, but I don't remember what the paths look like under there. But I'm on the same page at least. If I only get one bloody slime this whole trip, I'm gonna be pissy. Just so you know. Tell yourself the room before actually entering said tunnel. Like I said, I've got no idea, man. I know what you're talking about now, at least, but I can't picture it in my head. Man, 
Man, I have missed the mouse and keyboard when it comes to using bows and arrows. No question of it. Would you please give me at least... Where are the slimes? Why? Why no slimes? It's a swamp. It should be literally swarming with them. It's not having any problem spawning the other mobs. The slimes should be spawning more often than those things, because slimes don't give a fuck about light level for a start. So all these torches... There we go. All these torches should be stopping most of the other mobs and giving these guys much more of a chance to spawn. Ridiculously low rates. Just offensively low rates. What the hell, damn guy? Hey, G-Bud. How you doing? Uh, Amy, 2009. Hey, big one. About time. Easy now. This is danger zone. Zerp. 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 There we go. This is more like it. Now I'm living that slime life. What are we doing? 16. Really? 16? That's all we got so far? Bloody hell. I really wish I had a looting sword. <laughs> I was expecting at least 20. Come on, we don't have that much... Ugh. We're basically out of night time. Don't think we're going to get another one. Three slimes. Three slimes in one night over an entire swamp. Oh shit. Does that seem fair to you? Well, I think... I think 16 balls of slime might be just enough to get enough sticky pistons to do what we need to do with the uh, flower farm. So we're not so hard done by. Oh, I could have sworn I saw another slime out here. <sighs> we definitely have to find a slime chunk though. I think on next break I'm gonna take a quick Google for a slime chunk finder for bedrock. It's the unreliability of the uh, swamp slimes. Yeah, chunk base or uh, mine atlas. Um, there's a couple ones I know about. Should only take me 30 seconds or so to find the uh, site that I use. Uh, hopefully, it's hopefully it's been updated to work with bedrock seeds. But yeah, well, I'll take a quick squeeze to see if we can find some slime chunks somewhere near base maybe There's some weird lag there
Come on. Just die. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't remember if you made a video on this. What are your thoughts on the hand holdiness of Pokemon? Let's go Pikachu UV. What are you talking about? We have no idea how hand holdy it is yet because it's not out. I mean, I played it at E3, but I played one section where I was just walking about the, uh, the forest before. Uh, um, what's the name of the damn forest? Just let my mind. What do you mean by hand holdiness, though? The one I found you said with Dark Oak. No. Vir Viridian Forest, yeah. The demo I had was in Viridian Forest. And there was no sort of story component. It was just wandering around, fighting trainers and wild Pokemon and all that kind of crap. Uh, do I have. I mean, is that box there? I guess we could put the slimes in that one. much sense it makes putting the slimes in this sort of area near the stone stuff but I guess it's near glass and you do need stone to make the pistons I suppose I wonder if we're gonna get yet another skeleton trap but two so far in this world which is a ridiculous number of skelly traps Just one, one slime ball per. And that's yeah. How's our iron look? I said iron. Let's make a stack. Of them. Oh, because, right, four cobble. Idiot. And oh, I was wood this time. Because it's three, three wood as well. Herper derp derp. There's my stack. And that's not slime. Fifteen sticky pistons. I'm trying to remember the last time I built the flower farm design. I think I need. Do I need one across each? No, yeah, yeah. I need slime box if I was going to do that. I need. I think I need at least ten. Fifteen should do it. 
we do five by five. Seven by seven. How much area does a dispenser do when underneath grass? Because we have to do that. Eh. I'll I'll double check the tutorial afterwards. Um Fact that forces you to bring Pokemon with type advantage at gym battles. It does that for the first gym, man. It literally does that for the one gym, just to teach you the mechanic. Instead of having the guy at the front of the gym telling you about it, you're just forced to do it. That's not that's not handholdy. That's just a different way to teach people about type advantages. And the fact you can play with a friend, 2v1, gym leaders. You don't have to do that if you think it's too easy. That's there for like kids playing with their siblings and stuff like that. If you want to be a hardcore Pokemon player, then you don't you just don't do 2v 2v1. That's a choice. And other games are geared for kids, the bum of those of us who grew up in these games. I grew up in these games. I've been playing since Red and Blue, man. If you uh if you feel like you want to make the game more challenging, you self-impose some rules. Like you don't use type advantage, or you deliberately choose type disadvantage, or you don't evolve your Pokemon, or you don't use healing items in battles, or there are just a billion ways you can make your own game harder if you feel like it's too easy. Yeah, there are hardcore Pokemon players. It's usually PvP stuff, though. They breed up their own Pokemon perfect IVs and movesets and all that kind of stuff. There are absolutely hardcore Pokemon uh, players. I mean, not so much with the main games, because they're not really hardcore RPGs, but as far as battling goes, there are some certain hardcore people. Absolutely. You see them at tournaments, taking notes and everything. Oh, yeah, or you do the coin luck challenge. <laughs> Kicked my head in a couple of times. <laughs> I played competitively. They also changed the V and IV. I mean, you don't have to play the game, man. If you don't like the game, don't play it. You've got 20 fucking years of other Pokemon games to play if you feel like playing something different. Not every game has to be for you. It's okay for them to make games that are not for hardcore, self-described hardcore competitive Pokemon players. If you want a new game that's that's you know a bit more traditional, then just wait till next year. Otherwise, choose from any one of the fifty fucking games that are out there. I get all pissy about one game. Choose life, man. Uh, what am I gonna do next? Let's see. Let's check our materials. I wonder if we've got enough material to do the enchantment room. I mean... Got plenty of that. We're definitely going to need to make more. In fact... Let's do that. Let's, uh... Where am I? I'm not carrying my water bucket anymore. I need my water bucket back. And I want my blue dye, and grab some white dye. Let's make another batch or two of uh, concrete. That's what we're going to do next. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Times. How's my axe doing? We need to repair that. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Probably need two or three to repair that. Two diamonds will do it. 
Not at a cost of 17 XP though. Heelza! Might be smart to wait till the lightning storm is finished before I start building up with concrete. That felt like it was close. She's not the shoe's life. I hate you or something else. Ah, you win. Uh, it was low. It hit your building. I don't know if it hit the building. I reckon the wood would have been on fire if it hit the building, wouldn't it? Probably... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that one was close. Yeah, I think the building's fine. I feel like it hit out there somewhere. That one nearly hit me. I'm going back indoors. I'm a scared. Actually, we might try and sleep that away. We done? Thank you. Go <laughs> out the storm, this is. It'll be fun, this is. Coming down the coast, it'll be blast. Starting to make some p-word around this place, aren't we? When did your sponsorship with MSI end? Um, like three or four months back, I think. November last year. Was it that far back? Might have been that far back. I don't know. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was... I think it was in March. Well, I don't think I did anything with MSI as far as events or anything goes since late last year. But the contract itself, I think it was in March. the way the draw distance works. Look at that. The chunk hasn't rendered over there yet, but it's rendered in the stuff I've built. That's a good way to do that. I like that. Maybe it's a height thing, actually. Well, it doesn't seem to be. the color difference here is my tick range. Like the light, the pale stuff is outside of the tick tick range. Looks like it might be. Ooh. 
other YouTubers you recommend? I don't know, man. What are you looking for? Tech Turbers, gameplay, vloggers. Frankly, everyone sucks but me. Don't know why you'd need to watch anybody else. just flat out crashed is what happened there. It just froze and then crashed. And now the dimensions are all off. What are you doing? What are you even doing, Minecraft? I'm going to respawn in mid-air is what's going to happen. <laughs> well, huh. Remarkably, we're perfectly safe. We saw that coming. Bullshit. It did that weird glitchy thing where it kicked me off the block. Feather falling four boots, though. Savior of the universe. Eight blocks circling, putting water down each side. Yeah, I really wish the jewel wielding method of work of making concrete worked in bedrock. In uh, Java, there's a method of doing it where you have the concrete powder in one hand, you pick in the other hand, you place the concrete powder down with one, you know, with your one hand into a or next to a water source block it turns into concrete and you mine it with the other hand with the tool in the other hand it's a really super efficient way of doing the concrete but because you can't dual wield properly much of anything at all in bedrock you can't do that have you seen the concrete making machine depends which one you're talking about I've seen, I think it was Mumbo Jumbo made one where it was sort of it used a, a glitch to duplicate concrete.
I was looking at chat, not even sure what happened there, but okay. We may need to find another method of doing the concrete thing. This is getting less and less reliable. Can you get me water? What the? That was a weird looking glitch. Thanks for breaking yet another thing that's uh, just super handy and qu quick to do, Minecrafts. I love it when you make things that we used to be able to do super easy and make them more difficult for no apparent reason. That's awesome. Just kidding, you're dicks. Still waiting on more details about that concrete making machine. Uh, no, it has a piston, flowing water, and redstone. As you place a piece of concrete powder, it changes the solid concrete. All right, next to the water source, and it completes a circuit, powering the piston, and pushes it away. Well, I mean, that doesn't sound very efficient. You can only push, like, 12 blocks. So you can make, like, 12, 12 bits of concrete at one time, and then you have to reset the machine, mine the crap out. That's not a good way to do that. It'd be faster just doing this. What's up? What's the concrete for? It's Minecraft. You use blocks to build things. Um, we're, we're using concrete as our main sort of building material for, uh, for our stuff and things. Combination of light blue and white is our sort of color scheme of choice, as you can see from the path down there. Also with a bit of birch for uh, contrast texture. Complementary color. But yeah, we've got many, many buildings to build, so we have to make many, many, many blocks of concrete. This particular batch is probably going to be used to build our new enchantment and potion rooms. Right. 
Looks like I lost a block here somewhere. I wonder if I lost a block in that crash. Did a, did a block disappear from existence? No, there it is. I see it. Zwink. <laughs> there we go. Concrete, 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 concrete. Alright, before we do the next batch, I'm going to take a quick break. Because we did just hit that two hour mark since the last break. <laughs> My headphones just died. There we go. Alright, where was I? Oh yeah, quick break. BRBs! <laughs> 